Right, I'm just going to finish up with a few what next uh, options. For me, the most important one will be that um, this is the, the the detector on my, my layout in between the, the track sleepers. Uh, and as you can see, it's, it's a much more basic version than this, this flash one with all the adjustments and leads on it. So I need to figure out how to use my existing detector with the Arduino. I'm hoping that's not going to be too big an issue, but it will certainly need a bit more thinking about how to write the, the code. So that's for me personally. Also, I may as well look into the, the, the next option of Arduino, which is the Ar uh, Arduino Nano, purely to see if this will run the same number of signals and detectors as the Uno. So we'll definitely do that. Um, what else? Right, I've, I found my little um, reed switches. These are the, the, the reed switches I was talking about earlier. Uh, a, tiny little, a tiny little switch inside a glass tube. Uh, and looking at the size of those, you could quite easily get those in between um, the ballast, uh, between the sleepers on the and cover over the bit of ballast on your layout. If you wanted to use that as a preferred method of detection rather than than the uh, detector method, um, and as I mentioned, these will operate with a small magnet underneath the train. So we, we might give that a go, do a little mock up and have a look at that. Um, and the other one I just thought about, which I won't. I won't do myself because I don't need to. Uh, it's, it's entirely conceivable that we could use what we've done so far to control semaphore signals. We have the detection um, and we have the Arduino. Uh, anyone that's interested in doing that, and in particular using servo motors to operate the signals, um, the Rudy Model Railways I mentioned earlier, his series of fun with Arduino videos, he goes through the process of detecting a train and operating a level crossing barrier. So using that as a basis, it seems to me a very good opportunity if you have uh, semaphore signals and you want some form of detection and automatic operation of your semaphore signals. Um, watching those videos will give you probably the right idea of how to go about it. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Um, I will add additional parts to these videos as and when I get around to doing them. I um, hope it's been of use to you and I'd like to see someone make use of it on their layout. So if you could let me know, that would be great. Thank you. Bye.